In this video, I'm going to give you my number one tip for making your Pico 8 game less complicated. And it starts from the very beginning. All Pico 8 games are built on these three functions, these main callbacks, init, update, and draw. And it can get really complicated when you have a million lines of code in each one of these and you're kind of scrolling up and down. So you're just scrolling, 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 looking through lines and lines and lines of code. And so what we're gonna do to avoid that is we're gonna use these tabs up here. And not only are we gonna use those tabs, but I'm gonna show you a really cool trick to keep stuff organized. So normally if we were gonna set up our player, in this init, we could put a comment like, you know, player setup like this. Let's just say PLR equals X equals 63, Y equals 63, life equals 100, speed equals 10, and so on. And so you'd have your player all set up here, and you'd kind of have this chunk of code, and you'd have all kinds of different chunks of code here. You know, you'd have another one down here, another one down here and so on. And so this is already getting kind of crazy. So instead of doing it this way, what we're going to do is make a new tab and we're going to assign a category for this tab. So let's just say player stuff. And we're going to break this tab up into these three functions, init, update, and draw. Now you can't have multiple update functions or multiple draw functions. It will air out your game. But what you can do is you can wrap this kind of stuff in its own special function. So instead of typing all of this, I'll just hit control X to cut it. Let's get rid of this stuff too. And we'll just call a function that we're going to make up right now. And we'll just call a uh, P and it just like that. We're just going to call a function. Now somewhere in our code, we need to tell Pika wait, what the heck this does. Let's go to our other tab here and we're going to define that function function P in it like this. And then we're going to paste that code. Then we're going to end like this. So it's almost like we're making a little variable here, but we're creating this function that has all of our complicated code for our init function. And then for our init here, we're just going to put this one line P init like that. We're going to do similar things for updates. So P update like that and P draw. See how we're splitting this up into player stuff for init update and draw. And so now our player stuff has P init function P update function p draw and then we can put our player update stuff and our draw stuff and everything like that this helps us stay organized because all of our player stuff here is on this tab one and on tab zero we have our main callbacks you can think of this as like the master controller for everything in our game so if we need to take our game into a different level or something we could just say you know l in it like that and we can comment next to it so we don't forget what the heck this stuff is this one controls levels this one controls player should probably say initializes player initializes levels and you do the same thing here l update l draw and you label these with comments to keep things organized and then you have this nicely organized little list of things that we're taking care of this is our player stuff in the second tab maybe we'll do level stuff and that's where we would again put our functions l in it l update l draw and so on then things are nicely organized into tabs and we have our master controller here on the first tab. This is a fantastic way to keep things organized inside of Pico 8. There'll still be a little bit of scrolling because once you make a full game, there is going to be that, but this is going to minimize the amount of scrolling and frustration because it's putting things into these neat little boxes and organizing them into tabs. This has been really helpful for me. I hope it's helpful for you. If you want to dig into Pico 8 a little bit more, I have a free course right there.